Tell your mechanic to stop using this engine oil filter as we show you testing the worst and best motor oil filters out there on the market today, such as Fram Ultra Synthetic, Fram Tough Guard, Fram Extra Tough Guard, and Wix XP, Wix, Motorcraft, many other aftermarket motor oil filters or OE filters, original equipment, plus showing you which motor oil filters are the best for your vehicle. As you can see, with some of the Fram filters I've tested, we've went into the stores while the filters are brand new on the shelves, and as you know, you can see in these videos, there's moisture inside the filter. Maybe this is oil, but as you can see, it also catches a lot of contaminants such as dirt and other debris. And they'll tell you that the worst problem when it comes to an engine oil change is actually the contamination itself. So, how can we solve some of these problems? Well, as you can see that most cars today use variable valve timing and the performance of the engine is controlled by the oil pressure. It's a big determining factor. So this is very important deciding which engine oil filter that you should use, especially with today's synthetic motor oils. So checking out these filters, you'll see that the inlet holes and the outlet holes are a little bit different. As a matter of fact, some will have, as you can see in this video, six, while the same filter for the same make and model will have, say, 10. Now, does this detrimentally affect the engine's performance? Absolutely, it can make some changes. You can always follow the manufacturer's recommendations on what you should do for your vehicle. Looking at these Fram Ultra Synthetics, the glue on the filter, as you can see, can break off and become lodged on the side of the filter. And what will happen is it will cause a lot of debris to accumulate on the filter media. Now the filter media itself for the Fram Ultra Synthetic is made of a pretty high quality material. They even use a screen backing to make sure it can last a really long time. The same as the Wix XP. Now the K&N filter you can see it does have a nice little spot so you can apply a special oil filter tool to it and you can take them off pretty easy and most of them even have a little eyelet on the side so you can attach a cable for major oil pressure in case of a blowout now this is typically for racing motorcycles uh, things of that nature it can really make a big difference but with some of the other filters, like some of the big name, most popular, high quality motor oil filters out there on the market today, there's problems with these as well, with rust inside the filter. I mean, with the filters brand new, they've not been sitting on the shelf for like 10 years or anything like that. That's absolutely ridiculous. I've looked at the manufacturing date and you can see that that's not the case at all. As a matter of fact, with the oil inside of some of these filters, as it's called, and maybe so it is. It's still having these problems, which is definitely uncalled for. Now what we're gonna do is go out there and even OE filters, we're gonna find out which filter is best and we'll compare it to the aftermarket filters as well. But we wanna see how good the quality is of each OE filter as well. So. Now, if there's a special filter you guys would like to see, make sure to drop down in the comments. I've ordered some special tools. That way we can thoroughly test these filters much better than we have in the past. Not using an angle grinder or any of that. Um, it did help. We measured the filter elements to see how much media there was in length, also in width, also in the thickness of it using calipers. Um, we measure the thickness of the base plate, we measure the holes, we measure pretty much everything. And we check out the materials of the gaskets, whether it's synthetic, uh, filter media materials. So guys, if there's something that you would like to see specifically tested on these filters and a specific filter tested, make sure to drop down the comments, let us know all about it, how to test it, and what filter to test. Thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.